Hello, I'm Adam. I wanted to take a minute and tell you about the cool new improvements that are coming to day one, starting in version 2.1.5 for iOS. These are in addition to the improvements that we're making on performance to make sure that day one is the best digital journal out there. We are also expanding our help guides, our tips, and our tutorials. You can check those out in the links below. That's a great way to get started to make sure that you're getting the most out of day one. One of the new improvements you'll notice right off the bat is the new edit and markdown formatting bar. You'll notice it's changed up quite a bit. We like this design a lot and we're really excited to show it to you now. The journal picker has changed to an abbreviated version, but you can see the full journal name right above that in the metadata bar. To access the full metadata, you can tap on the three dots icon. The markdown shortcuts are now included in the edit bar, and this is scrollable, so you can scroll to the right to see all of the options available to you for markdown. We're going to go ahead and start a test entry here so you can see what this looks like. You can tap on the header icon to start your header. Now this will cycle through and you'll see it indicated on which header number you're on. This will go all the way through H6. Once you reach an H6 header, if you tap it again, it'll just reset. There is a new icon for adding quotes to your entries. There is a new icon for lists and checklists as well. When you tap on this icon for the first time, you're going to get a normal bullet point list. If you tap on the icon a second time, you'll start a checklist. These lists will continue when you hit enter. The next two icons are for indenting and outdenting. The last two options are bold and italics. Tap on these and the cursor will be placed in the middle of the asterisk to give you the formatting you need. But now we've added this option where you can highlight text and it will give you the options for bold, italics, list, or adding a link. For historical journaling, some of us like to create entries on previous days. To do this, tap on the clock icon up at the top near the date. This will access the date picker. There's a new calendar shortcut in the calendar view. If you're scrolled back looking at previous entries on a different day, you can easily scroll back to the current day by tapping the calendar icon again. We've also added some improvements in the places filter. When you tap on the tag icon to access your different filters, when you tap on places, it's now going to include all of the locations that you've been to in your entries, even if they're not saved as a favorite. The filters within the locations are great. You can search by nearby entries, your most used entries, and also your favorites. We've also added a shortcut for your if this, then that integrations. Tapping on if integrations in the settings will take you to if.com, where you can see a list of suggested applets that you can start integrating into your journal, or you can create your own. This is a great way to automate your journal by including stuff like your Instagram and Facebook posts and your tweets. These are some of the cool new improvements that we've added to day one, starting in version 2.1.5. For a full list of our improvements and fixes, check out the links below in our description.